wins. Poor might. I read about it in the papers. Well, I'm not actually involved. We are supposed to be catching a train to Yorkshire in the morning. Walking holiday in the Dales. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing too much walking for a while, Ruth. Mm-hmm. Fine. Uh, Ruth Mandis, I've just picked her up from Edie. She's got a contusion to the right side of her chest. Uh, Grace shoulder and wrist. Okay, let's put her into bed three. Okay. Ruth, how did you fall? Loose stair rod. Carpet was baggy. An accident waiting to happen. That's what Francis will say. Who's Francis? Our daughter. She worries too much, that girl. 37 going on 97. You know how she feels. Well, don't bother her now, Roy. I've fallen before. Oh, it happens. Well, she gave us this silly thing, so I used it when they were loading you into the ambulance. It's got a memory. Francis's work number's already oh, in. Look, not now, Roy, please. He's going to look at your x-rays. Apparently it's like a multiplex up in theatre. They've been passing the popcorn man soon. Next way you know how it's going. Sorry. Not on the school team. Oh, I just thought you might have spoken to someone. I don't know, Ed maybe. He's got too much on his plate today. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Jess, I told you not to tell anyone. Couldn't let a milestone like that go unmarked, could we? A milestone. Listen to her. Oof. How old are you? Ask no questions. <gasps> Congratulations. I didn't know you were 40. Imagine what it's like when you get to our age. Mm-hmm. Mm. Huh. Uh, Ruth, I think we need to give you a thorough check. Pulse is raised, BP's on a low side, 90 over 60. OK, let's get some drips set up and use a colloid, please. It says in your notes that you've been suffering from abdominal pain. A little. May I? Oh! oh sorry. Did you oh. have any problems with your stomach before you fell? Look, I'm all right. I'm going to organise a CT scan for you anyway. Look what you've started, Dr Kildare. Back in a bit. Um, anyway, I have to go. Yeah. I've got an interview for Kath's old job. Oh, I'll make sure of that. Don't worry about the stair rods. You can sleep downstairs in my room. Okay, Frances. Sure, sure. Like an old woman sometimes. No, sell them up fine. Your mother and I can manage. We do things our way. We always have. You'll need me to be there, Dad. Especially if she's going to be laid up. She? Oh, listen to this. Why didn't you just stick me in the garden with the rhubarb? Be done with it. Well, Dad did warn you about the stair rod. I mean, you never listen. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Hi. Ah, birthday girl. Maybe you can work your charm and my daughter here. She seems to think I'm a lost cause. Ruth, we've had the results of your scan back. I want to take you into theatre straight away. Why? Well, there's some damage to your liver. Your blood pressure's very low, which could indicate an internal bleed. And? And? There's always an and, isn't there? We found a mass around your pelvic area near your ovaries. A mass? We want to investigate it. That means cancer, doesn't it? Try not to jump to any conclusions. Please, don't be evasive. We we really don't know any more at the moment, so do try and stay calm. I'm going to get you prepped and ready for theatre. Jess, can you pay Joe until I'm meeting there? Hello, I see. You're telling me. (laughs) I've still got a name on my... um... Oh, Gwendolyn. That's a lot of... All muscle, Miss Lloyd. <laughs> OK. Bladder looks good. Uterus, OK. Right ovary and tube, normal. Another mass. Well, it doesn't look malignant. Something's been growing in there. What? What is it? It's a baby. Tom. They've been on bypass now for an hour. This cauterized. Then what? Could could we have a moment with Ruth? Why was it something worse? Well, just tell us. We've waited long enough. What we found inside you is called a lithopedian. It means literally a stone child. I don't understand. You must have become pregnant a long time ago, Ruth. The baby developed for a few weeks and then died because it was outside the uterus. After that, it just calcified for a number of years. I realize this must come as a huge shock to you. No, it can't be possible. My mother and father weren't able to have children. That's right. I'm adopted. I'm sorry, I really don't understand this. The doctor said your mother's had a difficult day. She won't want to talk. But I want to know, don't you? Well, Frances, your dad's probably right. She's been through an awful lot today, and this is bound to stir up memories. 
It's not just memories. Memories you can bury, memories you can hide. But a baby, that's real. His name was Alistair. I met him a week after our 15th wedding anniversary. You had gone off on one of your courses. I remember. He was a, a surveyor. He came into the library to research something or other. I helped him. There's nothing else to be said, Ruth. It was a long time ago. Did you know you were pregnant? We don't need to go into detail. She wants to know. No, what was the pity? Had I known, things would have been different. But if you had been pregnant, what would you have done? I think that's enough. Would you have kept it? Would you have pretended it was Dad's? Told him the truth? Your mother made a mistake, a single mistake in 46 years of marriage. I married the wrong man. Oh, okay. Your sets are falling. Um, look, I think it would probably be for the best if you were to give Ruth some space. Um, she's still in pain after the operation. Oh. Oh. I'll see you shortly. Thank you. not normal, Dad, to react like this. Maybe, but I have to deal with things in my own way. Well, a few words of explanation and that's it? That's her way of dealing with things. Why are you protecting her? Doesn't it occur to you that there may be a reason why I seem to have taken this news of your mother's affair, this baby, so calmly? Why? Did you have some kind of affair, too? In my head, perhaps. But my fantasies have been of a particular kind. Failure to produce children, you see, is simpler than you imagined. Fine. Absolutely fine. Ruth, you probably want to take some time to think about funeral arrangements or whatever you want to do. Yes. I'd also like to apologize. I would no right to blame you. You had every right to be upset. I lost a child. Actually, I seem to have lost two. I'm sure Frances will come round. Will she? I hope so. We should have done things so differently. Perhaps you'd better leave us to get on with it. We've got to start sometime. 